morning, everybody. Uh, once again, I'm Lucien from Calvin Chin's Martial Arts Academy. We're really happy that you're joining us today. Um, this is our beginner to intermediate uh, Honga Kung Fu class that we teach here. Um, we stream four days a week. If you're new to our channel, uh, please sub subscribe, hit that notification bell on YouTube, and uh, then you'll get notified every time we post something new. Um, and yeah, so the format for, the, for today's class is going to be the same as it usually is. I hope that you'll follow along at home. When I'm facing you doing the warm-up exercises that we do every class uh, that are going to include some stretching and some movement, um, some basic horse dance, some basic blocks, punches, kicks, all of that good stuff, um, I'm going to be doing that mirror image. That means if I hold up my right hand, I'm going to tell you hold up your left, and it's like you're looking in the mirror. Um, that's basically the deal. So let's get it going. Feet shoulder width apart. Nice big hoop. And we're going to turn to the right three times. One, two, three. We turn to the left. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Good. Left hand on the waist. Reaching over, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Okay, let's raise the arms up. We're going to stretch gently towards the floor. Try to keep your legs straight. One, two, three. Turn to your right. Two, three. Turn to your left. Two, three, middle one time, we stand up, inhale, and through the nose as well, exhale. And again, one, two, three, to your right, two, three, to your left, two, three, middle once, inhale, and exhale. And again, one, two, Three, to your right, two, three, to your left, two, three, middle one time, inhale, and exhale, very good, hands on the waist, rotation, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, and 2. We switch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, and 2. Crossing the hands, place them on the knees. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Switch hands. We're going to switch directions. We want to keep our feet flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. And two. Hands on the waist. Let's turn our head side to side gently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Tilting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Now rotation, looking all the way around. One, two, and 
three, we switch directions, one, two, and three. Very good, let's open up the feet, arms out. We're gonna turn our head and the body will follow. Let the arms just go along for the ride. Trying to look behind you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, and four. We're going to cross our fingers. We turn to the right. Bend your right knee. Keep your, your uh, back straight and vertical. One, two, three. Let's switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, and three. We're going to keep that right leg straight. Flatten both feet and stretch it out. And we switch. By the way, while we stretch, want to wish uh, Calvin Chin's Martial Arts Academy's own uh, Sifu Paul, Paul Ho, a happy birthday, young man. <laughs> uh, we'll have to wait till after all this COVID stuff to celebrate together, but let's switch toe up. Now, if you are following along at home and you're new to our school, um, any of the things we're doing, you do them to the extent that you can do them. Know your own limits. Okay, stand up, we turn to the right, both legs straight, bending at the waist, and stretch. And we switch. And to the middle. Okay, let's bring our feet in, toes out. Elbows between the knees, hands together. Use your hands to push your elbows outward, opening up the hip joint. The kids class, we call this the frog. Okay, let's sit. Feet together. Butterfly position. Let's stretch out the right leg, bring your left foot in, stretch towards the foot. Let's switch sides, stretch towards the foot. Both feet out, we bounce, switch, and up. Okay, we're going to start in this ready position. Hands at the sides, body straight, feet parallel, straight line between the toes, so we don't want to be offset like this. And most importantly, for ready position, eyes are alert and facing forward. We make fists, pull our elbows back, fists to the waist, bend the knees, heels out, Toes out, heels out, and one more time, toes out. Your feet should be parallel, straight line from toe to toe. Feet are flat, knees are going out. You don't want your knees going in. Back is straight, and your body's relaxed. We're going to do ping choi, reverse or flat punch. It twists at the very end, so you don't want to do this like this. You want this to come out and turn over. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing, one, and two. Okay, let's do low block. We press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing, one, two. You notice we close the same way every time. This is an escape. Someone grabs and you manipulate your way out using the leverage of your elbow and your shoulder. So here we go. Middle block coming across the body, stop at the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing. One, two. We're going to lift high block. Make sure the wrist is lined up on the center of your body. Use your nose as a guide. Okay, and the hand should be above your eyebrows. Nothing worse than, well, a high block that stops here is pretty bad because you still get hit in your head. The only thing worse is a low block that stops here, and you can see why. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing, one, and two. Okay? Now we're going to do Lumon Sam Sik, all three, same arm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Closing. One, two. Now we do low block with a punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing, one, and two. Middle block with a punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing, one, two. High block with a punch. Lifting, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Closing, one, two. Down GQ, so we pull back, pushing out. One, two, three. We're trying to go for consistency of position, go same place every time. Four, comes back to the same place as well. Five and six. We go low. One. Fingertips facing each other, about the width of the hips or the shoulder. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Going high. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Pull it back. Last set in front of you, shoulder width and shoulder height. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Thrust out. Flip, roll, press. Thrust, flip, roll, press. Thrust, flip, roll, press. And we close. One, two. Okay, let's bring the feet in. Shake it out. Deep breathing, palms up. Elbows down, elbows out. We're going to breathe in as we rise up and come down slowly with the breath. Palms up, elbows down. Elbows out, inhale, and exhale. And one more time, palms up, elbows down, elbows out, inhale, and exhale. Very good. All right, next up, we're going to go feet shoulder width, left hand on the waist, elbow out to the side of the body, right fist in the center, 
and punch. You do try. Knees should be bent but slight but relaxed. Okay, switch. Punch. Okay, stop to the side. So the fist goes to the side, the head goes to the side, body stays facing the front. You don't want to turn the waist this way. Keep your body to the front and punch. Okay, stop, switch, punch. So even though these classes are streamed live, you can always come back and reference these classes. They're all up for archive, and you can watch them 24-7, and there's no cost to any of this content. Okay, stop. Here, watch away, both fists up, and turn, turn, turn. This is an alternating punch. Your other fist should come back to its original position by the ear as your diagonal punch comes down. Turning the waist, but keeping the eyes and the head forward. Okay, stop, be not Troy, edge of the fist, and you punch out. And switch, and punch. Hopefully you're watching at home, you're following along. If you are, please give us a comment, let us know how we're doing. More importantly, let us know how you're doing, how you're dealing with all of this COVID situation. Hopefully. We're getting somewhere close to the end, but it remains to be seen. Stop, chill, and choy. Cartwheel punch. I'm going to again turn to the side so you can see. We're always going to reference our own body for the size and the shape and the direction of things. Because um, wherever you go, there you are, you have your body with you. So you want your fist of one hand to line up on the elbow of your other arm. And that's going to determine the size of that circle. I want it to be an even circle. I don't want it to be an oval, but a circle. It comes rolling one over the top of the other. Everything stays in the center line. I don't want to be up here. This is obviously too big. This is too small to do anything. So here we go. Okay, stop, quattro, back of the fist, out to the side. Okay, switch, and punch. Okay, stop. Point your right toe 45 degrees from the front. Touch the arch of your right foot of your left foot to the heel of your right and step straight out, lightly touching like a cat. Left hand on top. We're going to switch, keeping the weight on the back leg no matter which foot comes forward, and punch with that side. Switch, 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 switch. Switch, 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 and switch. Good. Deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Um, we're going to put our left foot forward, bending the front knee. Back leg is straight. Left hand on top. 
If you're brand new to Kung Fu, I know this is a beginner slash intermediate class. Um, if it goes a little too quickly for you, just know that you can always watch it afterwards and slow it down. Uh, you can refer back to it over and over again. Also, if you have any questions or any difficulty, please feel free to put that in the comments section, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo, or uh, Facebook. Even though I won't be able to answer it while I'm in front of the camera, uh, a little later in the class, see who's going to come and take over uh, with the instruction, and I'll be back on monitoring the chat and running the stream and all of that good stuff. So here we go. We're going to punch with the right toe out, lift the right knee, kick with the toe pointed, step back, back to your original position, and punch. That's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. We switch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Switch feet, left foot forward, kicking with the right leg. Same thing, but we're going to push out with the heel. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Let's switch. Kicking with the left leg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you might or might not have picked up on the fact that we're pivoting on that front toe. The reason we do that is if my foot is facing this way and I go to kick, my hip only has so much extension. When I open up the hip by towing out, I have a lot more forward range. So your kick is going to have more power. It's also gentle on the hip and tends to work out better for the person throwing the kick. All right, so again, left foot forward, left hand up. This time we're going to do straight leg kick. Chun Sam Hoi. It's the only kick we do where we're not bending the leg. I'll do it from the side. Make sure that when you kick, you come back to this position because just as effective as coming up is this leg coming back as a sweep to take someone off their feet. So if you just kind of do this, you're missing out on that back part of the kick. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Good. Let's switch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's switch. Last kick we're going to throw today in this uh, drill is a roundhouse to the waist. So you're going to Punch, toe out, just as you would. You want to lift the knee, torque the hip, and turn the waist to send that kick out to the front. Just because a kick is round doesn't mean you want to kick over here. You still want that kick to come dead center in front of you. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's switch. Kicking with the left, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Very good. Deep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Very good. All right, so next up, we're going to run through five stances. Uh, this is not the Wushu five stance drill um, that's pretty popular with Wushu practitioners, but this is the traditional Honga five stances that we teach here at Calvin Chance Martial Arts Academy. This is a drill to help us coordinate the stances and the punching, the arm techniques. Uh, we're going to do this in four different directions. So even though we only have one camera in front of us, you should be able to see whether it's through the mirrors or from that angle uh, as we go. All right? So here we go. I'm going to start kind of offset to the camera. Let's make fists. Raise them up. 
up to the chest, drop the elbows, push out, palms up, make fists, pull, open, push, pull, push, pull, push, elbow strike, press, thrust out, press, we make a big hoop, and we close, right fist on top, Bending the knees, step out to offset horse stance. That's a straight line from your left toe to your right heel. You can use the floorboards, carpet, tile, or a pattern in your uh, floor to help you get that alignment. Bending the knees, draw the bow. We never isolate just one hand. Both hands and the body work together to drive the movement out. So as this hand comes out, the right hand goes to the waist. Sliding step, leaning stance, punch. Left hand underneath, step all the way through. Leaning stance, pull your elbow stroke back, and turn your waist and stance, punch. Toe out, big cross step, shift your weight forward to the right leg, big hoop with two fists, and turn your waist, dragon whips tail. Pivot out, corner back fist to the head. Make a circle with your left hand, toe out, intercept, step up, cat stance, punch. Step straight back, cover. High block, low block. Left knee up, drop and chop, uppercut, and we close. Now we're going this direction. I'm going to move back just a little bit. Right fist on top, step out, offset horse stance, chun kill. Sliding step, leaning stance, punch. Left hand underneath, step all the way through the leaning. Elbow stroke, turn your waist and stance, punch. Toe out, big cross step with a hoop. Dragon whips tail, spin out, corner back fist to the head. Make a circle, intercept, step up, punch. Step straight back, cover. High block, low block. Left knee up, drop and chop, uppercut, and we close. Two more directions. We're going this way, and finally ending that way. I'm going to move back to this side just so you don't lose sight of me. Right fist on top. Offset horse stance, chun. Sliding step, punch. Left hand underneath, elbow remove, punch. Toe out, big cross step, dragon whips tail, corner back fist to the head. Make a circle, intercept, step up, suspended, punch. Straight back, high block, low block. Left knee up, drop and chop. Uppercut. And we close. Last direction. I'm going to offset from the camera so you can still pick it up in the mirror. Right fist on top. Offset horse stance. Chun. Sliding step. Punch. Left hand underneath. Step all the way through. Elbow. Punch. Toe out. Big cross step. Dragon whips tail. Corner back fist to the head. Enter step. Step up. Punch. Straight back. High block, low block, left knee up, chop, uppercut, and we close. All right, so hopefully you got a little bit of a sweat doing that. You know, I did deep breathing, palms up, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. So see if you still want me to run through Moy Farquhar and Maga. Okay, so... Next up, we're going to run through Moi Fakran. This is the Plum Flower Fist Set. It's the first form that we teach here after five stances. And then we're going to follow that with Lao Gopin, um, the second form that we teach here, the Lao Family Fist Set. Um, this is all part of our Lam Family Hong Kong or Hong Da style that we teach here. Um, if you are someone who's in the middle of either first form or second form, I'm going to go through it at a reasonable pace, and I'm going to narrate all the moves, so hopefully that will help. But do remember, if you can't keep up, um, especially some of our younger, smaller students, just remember you can always refer back to this. Uh, all of the videos we put out are archived, so you can view them 24-7, and we hope that you'll come back and repeatedly refer to them. Because the more you do this, the better you become at it, and also improves your health and uh, kind of your sanity. If you're you know, cooped up in the house all day, that's not a great thing. So this gives us something to do. So hopefully you'll follow along. All right? So 
Ready position, we make fists, left hand middle, bend the knees, step up, suspended, salute. Step straight back, feet together, and close. Bending the knees, toe out, step out, high block, low block. Pull your foot back, cross step, cross hand, step out, right hand middle block, drag in. Right fist on top, step straight back, chun, scoop. Toe out, step up, press, uppercut. Left hand on top, cat stance, remove. Step up, leaning stance to offset horse stance, punch. Squatting, high block hammer fist, step up, uppercut. Cat stance, remove. Punch. Toe out, cat stance, high block hammer fist. Step out, cross block. Pull over your knee, turning to the rear direction, come back to the middle, and with an even motion, drunken punch. Left hand underneath, remove, high block. Step up, punch. Squatting. Uppercut, sliding step, punch. Squatting. Elbow up. Press, lift, cut. Double palm strike. Remove, punch. Toe out, step to the rear. Bring your right fist across, intercept. Left hand underneath, also engages as we elbow behind us. Rolling elbow, turn the waist, stance, especially the feet have to turn with this. If you do this without turning the waist in the stance, no power. So we turn, low corner back fist, palm strike to the chest, high block. Outside crescent, hop kick, press, trap. Back fist, remove, punch. Right fist on top, change of directions to the front direction, offset horse stance, trend. Sliding step, palm strike to the waist. Make sure you're not extending your arm out too far. Keep that elbow bent. Pull your foot back, pivot, scoop. Press, kick, punch. Drag in. Right fist on top. Trunk heel, sliding step, punch. Middle block, salute. We close with three steps back. One, two, and three. And close. So well done so far, if you've kept up with us so far. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So keep in mind, if, you, if you're more along the lines of that intermediate student, or even an advanced student, uh, A, we have a, an advanced home guard pillar forms that's going to cover Gunji. Uh, Gunji Fukfu and Fuhawk uh, later today at uh, 1.15. Uh, but also, when I'm done with the second form, Sifu is going to come in and give further details. So hopefully there's something in this class that will benefit everyone. Um, but I just wanted to let you know if you were a little more advanced, not to worry. We have plenty of content coming today. And also, again, we stream again live on Saturday. All right. So we're going to do a lot of back on the second form that we teach here. We make fists, raise them up, left hand middle leaning stance, turn, toe out, suspended, salute, step straight back, pull your elbows in, pivot, middle block, suspended, salute, step back, turn, feet together, and we close. I'm just going to move offset of the camera so you don't just catch my back. Okay, two punches to the ears, two punches down. Cross the hands, open, push out to the sides. Scoop, right hand on top, step with your left foot, intercept with your left hand, step up, suspended, punch. Step straight back, this is just like five stances, high block, low block. Chop to the waist. Pull your foot back, pivot, scoop, press, kick, punch. Right fist on top as we step back, change of direction, clearing the way, draw the, draw the bow, trunk heel, sliding step, punch. Step all the way through, leaning stance, tingle. Lift, sungong. Elbows down, drag in. Turn, toe out, big cross step, high block, low block. Pivot out, palm strike to the waist. Pull your foot back, pivot, scoop, press. Kick, hop, thrust, cut, chop, and cross step tendu. Kick, phoenix eye, 
So this one is in the back fist position. We're thrusting out with that index knuckle out. Right fist on top, chun. Sliding step, punch. Left hand on top, step through, fold. Penetrating elbow, dropping palm, back fist. Right fist on top, change of direction, sliding step, punch. Step all the way through, tendu. Songong, elbows down, dragon. Turn, cross step, high block, low block, pivot out. Palm strike. Pull your foot back. Pivot. Scoop. Press. Kick. Hop. Thrust. Cut. Chop. Cross step. Tendu. Kick. Phoenix eye. Both palms down. Turn to the left corner. Cross step straight through. Right hand on top. Left hand goes to the shoulder. Right hand to the waist. We flip. Step through. Turn. Leaning stance. Double palm push. Cross step. Scoop, cross step, flip, right hand to the shoulder, turn, leaning stance, push. Step in, step out, low block, middle. Step in, step out, low block, middle. Step straight back, right hand middle block, reach out, chop. Adjust your foot, elbow. Dropping palm, back fist. Cross, pivot, one, two, cross step, open. Trap. Step through to the 45. Press. Thrust to the corner. Left hand middle. Suspend his stance to the corner. Turn. One, two, and three. We close. Okay, very good. Deep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Questions, feel free to chat them in the comments below. Yeah, the comments. Testing one, two. Mic's on. Okay. So, you know, I know that there's a pretty, pretty diverse group that's uh, following these forms, and the first two forms, uh, as Lucien just performed, um, are forms that people might be learning. The last few classes I focused more on the third form, and we've did, done uh, some uh, different drills with the, with the fourth form. But I'm going to uh, step back, or actually go back to the first form, and I'm going to run through different sections of the form, I'm going to do the front view for people that are learning it because um, obviously going through that whole sequence without actually any tutorials is pretty tough sometimes. So if you go back, you would see them. But So when we start off the form, here's your salute. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two. So that's how you would learn and practice your salute. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so just, you're doing it from behind me or beside me, so your left hand goes one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, so what movements uh, made it make up the form? What movements are in there that make up the form? So we have some blocking, we have some punching and so forth. So in the beginning, a new person has to define the horse stance. So there's your horse stance. So if you look to your left and you do a high block and a low block, that sets up the high-low position. Now, if we cross the hands, adjust this foot, and turn to a leaning stance, this movement is called a dragon claw. Put your hand on top. The right fist goes on top. Turn, draw, okay, and scoop. Okay, so that's a series of movements that's in the first form. But we're not doing it with all the stepping, so what we're doing it in this position is either open your stance like this as an exercise, or bend your knee and open your stance like this. Okay? We look to the left, high, low, cross. Now it's important which hand is on top and which hand is on the bottom. So just use the mirror 
to see which hand's on top and the bottom. You turn, adjust that foot, turn to a leaning stance, and we have the dragon claw. So what's the dragon claw? It's a middle block turning to this side and doing this. Put your right hand on top. Set this finger, index finger position up. We're in the middle here. So you see what I did? I adjusted my feet, chun kill, and scoop. Okay. So if you're just learning it, that's something you can practice kind of over and over again. And then the next section of the form, we have an uppercut, okay? So let's bring the hand here. That's an uppercut. Okay. So the uppercut goes with the leaning stance. And in the leaning stance, we have removing, step forward, and punch. So uppercut, remove, and punch. Uppercut, remove, and punch. Okay, so that gives you um, that series of movements. So when you, when you fir first learn the form, it's a lot to memorize. So you actually have to kind of work these little sequences. Then when it shows up in the form, uppercut, remove, step forward, turn, and punch, you'll be able to quickly identify these postures. Okay, so hopefully this, 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 and this will help you um, work on that. So you, I did it about three times, but you can do it 10 times, 20 times, as many times as it takes so that you don't have to really think too much about it, and then that's how you'll progress. Okay, now I'm going to go into a cat stance. So we feet are like this, we bend the knees, and we bring this foot out. That's a cat stance. Now you see this is a high block, and this is a movement like this. It's a fist, and it just comes down like this. So that's actually a low block for just doing this. You see that? So if you know what you're doing with the arm, then it won't be as difficult to learn. Now put this hand on top when you go into horse stance. Okay, turn to the back, strike to the front, put your hand on the hair, sit back and go up. Step forward, go to horse stance and punch. Okay, see what we did there? Cat stance, block. Cross stance, horse stance with the cross hands, Cross the hands, turn to the back. You see the elbows bent like this. This one's underneath. So your left hand is on top. Go back to horse stance, go to leaning stance, and strike. Sit back, hands up, so go right up the arm and pull it back. Step forward. Now we're going to twist the feet to horse stance and then punch. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. One. Okay. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's called the Drunken Fist Series. There's a bunch of movements in there. Watch it, just practice that piece, and then you'll have some um, understanding of how to build your form. Now, the next Posture is uppercut, again. So uppercut seems to be a movement that's very popular in this sequence or this form. So it's uppercut, sliding step. Uppercut, sliding step. So what's a sliding step? You move the front foot up, you move the front foot up, and then you punch. So we have an uppercut, a sliding step, pull back, and punch. Now if we pull back, and break it up like that, it's kind of sluggish. So your goal is to go uppercut, pull back as you step, and punch. Uppercut, and punch. So all of the terms I'm using is just so that you can begin to understand uh, what's going on there, right? So let's do that again. Uppercut, sliding step, and punch, okay? So the only thing that I haven't gone in through that ties a lot of this together we did the suspended horse, but we also have a squatting stance like this. And this hand is like this. Okay. So when we're in this position, this would be this side, this would be this side. But actually, we don't do this side in this form. We do it on this side. So you're sitting on your right leg. You're down on the heel here. 
then this foot is here. So most of the weight is here. And then you would go up from here to an uppercut. Okay. So when you squat down and you do the uppercut, that would be uh, how you tie it together. So there's, there's one movement. And you have this squatting stance here. Okay. In this instance, say you're in a horse stance and we want to squat. Now, you have to find that position. So see where my feet are? See where that foot is? You sit down and then you should be right there. Now, you can get in this position first and then stand up. Okay, now that's where that foot has to go. So if you want, you can you know, get a piece of chalk or a piece of paper, set up that position so you know that when you're here, this foot has to go here. And you, it's about shoulder width, so when I'm, my foot is here, it goes here. And it allows me to sit on that foot. And you can get up from there. You bring this foot to here. So a lot of times people have a little trouble getting into this stance because this foot is in the wrong place. Because if I go here, it's going to end up like that. If I go here, you can't squat down. You're in a cat stance. So where you place your foot is very important to get into the position. So I call that setting up. So learn to do the setups, and then you move into the next position. So that's um, the first chunk of the first form. Uh, and then there's three other sides. So without focusing on all the movements in the first form, because you wouldn't be able to memorize all of those the first time. So just work with that series if you're a beginner, and then uh, try to follow it along and learn that section. And then another section will be done another time. Another section will be done another time. And then uh, we'll pull it all together, and we'll be back to the final movements. So now I'm going to move to the second form. For those of you who work in the second form, and you open with the salute. And now this salute, a little bit different. You step up, so you salute this way. You pull back, and you step up, and you salute, and you go back to here. And we see this in the form, but you might not be able to keep up with the pace. So I'm going to do it again. We go from here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a leaning stance. Let's turn. Let's toe out like this, or turn the foot like this, and salute. Now you notice, actually, when I went like this, and I turned like this, I didn't do this. That's usually when you step through. I did this. So those are different. You see, the foot is here. I go like this, I can step through. OK? So when I go like this, I'm actually in this position. So how you, when you turn like this and step through, and you turn like this and step slightly different, when I'm turning like this, I'm, my weight stays here. When I go like this, it actually spreads me a little bit to step through. So you can see footwork varies and all looks the same. But there's a slight difference mainly because when I'm here, okay, I just turn. I want to keep my center here so I can step up and do this. Now, I can draw the hand back. Then I'm going to turn. Now, this one I turn out and step up because when I pull back, I go to a twist stance and step up. So that gives you a little variation. Now we're in the corner. And I switch like this, and I end up in the center. Then we have two punches up, two punches down, open, put the right hand on top, open, and push. And you scoop, and this is just like in the second form or the five stances as a position or a position. Okay, so when we're here, this goes here. The open hand does this. Because this could be confusing as to which side's going to go. So this and this go together. This and this go together. So you should be turning, and this is your position. The punch is a little bit lower, so you see the fist lines up with the hand. So that means here, 
is where your punch is going. Okay, so you're here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so that's reviewing one, two, three, four. Move your foot, set up your hands, lean. So you have that in your five stances. So five stances has a lot of these postures. Okay, so that's the salute and the opening to the second form. So that gives you, uh, you know, something to work on. The two sides of the form are in one of the to tutorials where we work um, the back and forth position. Now, in this form, we have a piece that's actually from the first form, so I won't uh, go over that at this point. Oh, no. uh, just we use that as a, a training series for people that have finished the first form and they're moving to the second form, okay? Now, for some of the people that uh, have learned the end of the first form, I just want to go over this, 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 and this. Okay, this is the movement that we have later for this. This is some movement here. It's either a palm strike or a chop. When we go like this, palm, right, hook, press, kick. In the first form, you do this, palm strike, scoop, press, kick. In the second form, it would be chop, scoop, press, kick, punch. So what's common? That series of kicking movements where you scoop, press, and kick is the same series, whether it's a palm, a scoop, a chop, and a scoop, or a palm and a scoop. You'll see that that's going to show up in this second form several times. So you can identify with that. When, you, when it comes to that series of movements in the form, you will already recognize it. You know it. So as you... If you practice these movements over and over again, what you'll end up doing is starting to recognize what some of the common movements are. So that's something that really um, you pick up on, and when you start to identify them, it's so much easier to learn the sequences. Because when you're learning one form and go to the next form, you, know, you think you're learning all different movements, but really it's not a lot of different movements. There's a lot of fundamental common movements, and then um, you'll be able to you know, pull it all together. But what's common is chun kill, sliding step, and punch. What's common is punch. Those are pretty standard transitions. We do that right in the beginning when we're doing five stances, right? Sliding step, punch, right? Draw and punch. So you see how important those two uh, techniques are so that when you Learn other forms, they're going to fall into place. And because you've done them, you know, a thousand times doing the five stances in the first form, by the time you get to the you know, fourth, fifth, and sixth forms, or where you're learning the pillar forms, all of those foundation movements will be in your body and you'll be able to recognize, and a lot of that will uh, um, support your progression. Uh, so that's how we learn, that's how we have to do it, all right? Now, with the third form, it's completely different, but I've spent a lot of time on the third form. I want to, uh, you know, go to some of the movements in the fourth form for the people that are doing the fourth form. And one of the things in the fourth form is the footwork when we open the stance. Okay, we open the stance and we build, we lift, and we cross, and we open. Okay, so you're in your stance, you're crossing, and you have that. When we turn and adjust, we have the trapping hand. We have the cutting hand, and we have the palm strike. Okay, so that is something that shows up in Gunji Kun as a trapping hand and a short punch. So we trap, we cut, we palm, and we punch. Okay, so we all know those movements. This is a trap. 
This is a trap in this position. This is a trap in this position. This is a cut. This is a cutting hand. This is a palm strike. Okay? So those are all movements we're familiar with. Cutting hand, palm strike, right? Those are um, more fundamentals, more surface areas or places that you strike with. This is the heel of the palm. This is the heel of the foot. So when you're doing these movements, you know, you'll begin to understand what you're, what you're dealing with. So when we're here, one, two, three, four, right? Form the fist, punch. Now this, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. So you should be able to follow that using the mirror to see that our footwork is offset horse, leaning stance, one, gets us back to here. Now my foot's here, so I turn a little bit like this, a little bit like this, and get my body back in position. So, I'm back. so what you're doing, you're measuring out your feet. One, two, three, four. So it takes a lot more control to do that. But believe me, as you start to evolve, the pivoting of your feet and the control of that angle will actually uh, become very important you know, at later stages. In the beginning, it seems like even this doesn't mean a whole lot until it starts to show later. Like in Gunji Kuhn, you have to go one, two, three, four. You know, where did that come from? These are all fundamentals. It's setting up the, the geometry of position, but it's a mechanism to measure each and every one of um, the, the positions your foot is in. So, you know, we work from the bottom of our foot, the sole of our foot, to the top of the head because your body is one unit, you know. You, uh, everything that we do becomes a unit. You know, like if you, uh, you know, have uh, your phone or whatever, it's a unit. You have a, you know, a top, a bottom, a side, a back, a front. None of it works without, you know, all of it working together. So you take the top off and crack the screen, and now it's not very functional. You have to fix it because you can't see it clearly. So when we're doing our movements. Where our foot goes takes us in a direction. How we establish these positions really becomes more critical as you progress. Okay, now, um, that's those are movements in the fourth form, and I wanted um, those things to be, uh, you know, explained now, one of the things that doesn't happen enough when we do this, after we trap and we cut, is to turn, straighten this leg completely. Okay. So this happens already to a posture. But when we turn like this in Gunji Hun, we adjust. This form, we just turn. We just turn. We just turn. So this series of movements is something you should practice to get your hips involved in turning in the stance and getting our body to go in that direction so that we get familiar with striking, striking. So control of your legs, that's what you should get out of this. Uh, so we did a little for the uh, new, newbies for the first form. Second form was covered. Fourth form has some really uh, fundamentals that are built inside. So you might know the sequence. Go back and learn some of the details. Okay, so with that um, note, I'm going to end the class, and I'll see you maybe uh, in another hour and a half or so, because I'm going to do the Tai Chi Paradigm class. Uh, give us the thumbs up, subscribe. Um, any questions, or if there's a section on the form that you want, chat or email us, and then I can uh, focus on a section. If you need you know, better to answer a question, if you have it, and I can address it. Okay.